Film has the power to change the world. Through cinema, we can learn how humans tick and talk, and how it is to be in someone else's shoes. Some films transcend boundaries of the human condition and force ourselves to look at humanity through filters of all sorts, all the while resulting in well-rounded, fully developed stories with lasting life lessons beneficial to generation after generation. And then there's films like Ex Drummer. I sometimes wonder what it takes for me to call a film my favorite, as I believe any and every genre holds the absolute power to be a contender. And through one of my favorite mediums, if you will, being foreign cinema, we can truly get an education like no other. Seeing how these characters live and interact on the other side of the world has always mesmerized me. And I would watch any foreign movie I could get my hand on as a young kid, even though, you know, I didn't fully understand what was happening most of the time. I'll talk more about some of my favorite foreign films down the line, but to get it started, I wanted to go with a 2007 Belgian film that I absolutely love. <laughs> 2007's Ex Drummer is a Belgian black comedy directed by Cohen Mordier who was previously a commercial and ad director, which might explain why every frame of the film is completely drenched in style. And I also recommend looking up his other films and shorts, as they are simply captivating. But with X Drummer, man, what a film debut. In the film, three handicapped losers form a band and ask a famous writer to be their drummer. He joins the band and starts manipulating them in order to gain inspiration for a new story. The film is based on part of a trilogy of ex-books, being ex-writer, ex-lover, and of course, ex-drummer, all written by eccentric Belgian novelist, poet, and playwright Herman Brusselmans whose cynical and isolating style seems to be translated here just masterfully by Cohen Mortier. The film has some of the most nasty, sleazy, two-faced, disgusting, all-around horrible people to have ever been put on screen. There is not one likable character in the entire film. And if you find one, also find some help, please. The film is also astonishing to watch due to its cinematography and overall offbeat comedy, yet at the same time, so hard to look at due to its violent content and nihilistic view of life. And again, it's one hell of a ride. The film will make you happy to be safe at home alone in a clean environment. I swear, man, you're going to want to take a shower after this one. While the film's protagonists, so to speak, are indeed a drummerless and handicapped rock band, it's, it's not quite what you think. You see, they have a rule. To be in the band, you have to be handicapped. So the singer, of um, being a violent, sadistic rapist, um, and the bassist, he's uh, homosexual with the use of only one arm, and, you know, the rest of the assorted wackos, well, they need a drummer who has a so-called handicap as well. Who do they find? A famous writer named Drees. His handicap? Well... He can't play the drums. Solid. Or at least that's what he tells the guys. The band, with their new drummer, calls themselves the Feminists. Because, as the drummer says, a group of handicaps are about as good as a group of feminists. I didn't write the joke, folks. The band has one real goal, and that's to cover a Devo song and win a battle of the bands. get a cameo from the band Funeral Dress, which is pretty surprising. In fact, this movie has one badass soundtrack. Now, of course, I don't want to reveal too much, as any more plot points aside from that will give it all away. But let me just say that after the big battle of the band's finale, we'll stick around. <laughs> now, obviously, I can't show you too much, but 
to get you a little glimpse of just how off-putting and straight-up weird this movie is, let me give you a taste. This is an overall uncomfortable movie, as the locations are all just so dreary and depressing. Everywhere they go just looks haunted. Even sprawling shots of the ocean are done in a way where everything looks dead or just fatigued. I just love it. The film exists somewhere in between the hyper-violent state of A Clockwork Orange and the overwhelming loneliness of films like Breaking the Waves, which I will touch on soon. Subscribe to stay notified. So yeah, um, I hope my upbeat rant on X Drummer will cause you to seek out its greatness, as it is for sure an underseen picture in the States, and to me, it managed to retain the qualities we just don't see in films these days anymore. And they did it all so nasty. What are some of your favorite movies? Let me know in the comments and please, subscribe and hit that little notification bell. Follow Staunch TV across all social media. And hey, check out some of these other videos, why don't you? And join all the strange fun only on Staunch TV.